Hey guys, what is going on? Long time no see. Uh, haven't seen you guys in a while, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to get into some stuff, what's been going on with me, what's been going on with my eBay, Amazon, Poshmark stuff, what's been going on with everything. Yeah, so uh, I guess the biggest thing is the uh, the Patreon stuff is going well. I know a lot of people just hate it and just thumbs down it and just can't stand that I charge for some content, but it is what it is. I we're up to 24 subscribers appreciate that a lot uh mystery reseller mystery boxes still going out every day it seems like which is awesome um but i still have too much stuff uh but to balance i've been struggling with the balance of you know what content do i do patrons only versus youtube do i just do a delay where like you know delay like a month where you know, the patrons get access. I don't really know, but I know people don't care about this, but it's something I've been struggling with. Do I just do, uh, maybe do just what sold videos on Patreon and haul videos live in YouTube, which I, I haven't even, honestly, this is the, the God's honest truth about the past two and a half months. I went thrifting once, one time, and that was this past weekend. We went to one store this past weekend and got like five or six things being super picky and this is the reason i am and this goes into your ebay business everybody else probably struggles with this and i have too i am absolutely maxed out on my storage space you can see behind me here and this is just the room i also have my whole one car garage next to me here full of stuff so i have basically the whole almost the entire lower level of our house full Heck, there's nothing I can do. I've got overhead racks above me put up that you can't really see. I have overhead racks in the garage. Uh, just full. I mean, what can you do? So I'm at a crossroads with the business. It's doing well. Uh, eBay, <laughs> it's been, you, you all got, you know, I'm sure I haven't had time to watch anybody on YouTube either. Uh, you know, Andy and John, the guys are really like Tommy Bernard. You guys are awesome. Uh, Justin, Lonnie, all those guys. I haven't had a chance to watch anyone because I've just been busy. But um, Crossroads, you know, eBay has been weird, to say the least. I've been doing an awful lot of local sales, uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace, offer up, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's been really good on there. Uh, Poshmark has been okay. Uh, beefed it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, Amazon, been really good. So... Yeah, all that good stuff. But um, the point is, I'm at a crossroads. What, Where do you go when you want to build a business, you know, keep getting bigger? There is there's a couple, in my process, there's a couple of tacks I could have taken. Okay, either you're going to have to pare back and really streamline and be very, very, very picky on what you source because of your space, your storage constraints, or you get a bigger space <laughs> so my wife and i you know of course we're a team we talked about this a lot back and forth and i've pr i've done i've done my due diligence i've priced out commercial spaces around here ridiculous i mean literally a thousand square foot warehouse using that in quotation marks because a thousand square feet is not that big 1500 bucks a month plus you know utilities and triple net and all that stuff it's just not it's not worth it um it's way too expensive that eats up a bunch of profit to the space you would gain literally like would i be able to cover that sure but is it worth it for the time i'd have to put in to cover that i don't think so no and it's different you know depending on different areas of the country and i know joe you know the family flips is down in conway arkansas um the warehouse spacing is a little bit cheaper there still not super cheap you know but uh a little bit cheaper there than it is in my neck of the woods but you know it's different you know depends on where you are and what you uh require but bottom line is the commercial uh real estate market around here is not conducive to what i want to do or what i want to be it'd be different if i want like wanted to be super big you know i could maybe rent out to five or ten thousand square foot uh, warehouse and really just hire people and you know just really go that direction but being someone that's been in business you know that has had employees you know like up to 15 employees at one time um, I don't want to do that anymore I just I don't want to be a manager P 
people and <laughs> I've just seen it all. I've seen, you know, the theft, the unreliability. I've also had super good employees, but it's give and take. It's just like everything. If people have, you know, I've had employees, you know what I'm talking about, but it's not something at this point that I'm interested in doing all this stuff. We do ourselves. My wife helps me source. I do the rest by myself. I don't have anyone else doing it. That's from the accounting, the books, the, you know, the sourcing, the listing, the photography, which I'm horrible at, but I still do okay. You don't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, the only thing I have outside help with is tax time. I have an accountant do my taxes and that's it. You know, everything else, the day-to-day, -day, I do it all. So, the crossroads. I don't want to go commercial. What's the other option? Well, we, my wife and I are talking about it and this actually, this just happened probably... A week ago or whatever i can't even remember then but uh we were just sitting there talking about everything and what direction we wanted to go and you know my wife's work is doing well and uh this the business is doing well but it could do better you know if i had more space and stuff so uh we're like just get a bigger house so yeah we're in the market to buy a bigger house <laughs> because the bottom line is i did the numbers and we could what we could sell our place for and move about 20 minutes further south to of us we could get a bigger home on maybe you know like like three acre lot which i'm interested in doing as well because i like to do things outdoors and you know nature and gardens and stuff but uh we can get a single family home a little bit south of us for about the same price as this place so that's what we're going to do we've been we got we went uh looked at a few places last weekend of course we've been hitting the the typical websites hard and heavy zillow and trulia and realtor.com and redfin and all those hitting them hard and heavy you know we've got uh, a lot of uh showings this weekend see what we can see but uh yeah we'll see so that's what i'm going to be busy doing the next however many months this could take literally we could find something put in an offer this weekend or this could take a year. We have no idea. That's just the way it is with real estate and house hunting. If you've been through it, you know. But uh, to go along with all that, what is going to be taking up my time now, knowing we are going to do that, is, well, there's some repairs that need to be done on this house that I have to take care of. And that's going to be taking up a lot of my time. You know, patching a few holes, painting, you know, doing some minor stuff that I've been putting off. We actually had a water leak in our... Um, laundry room a couple months ago that I, I fixed the water leak of course but the drywall needs to be a little section of it needs to be cut out and patched in and mudding all that back in and painting it and i got to do all that stuff it's all the little stuff that adds up but on top of all that how do i sell this place <laughs> how do i sell this place full of my junk well, i can't so Another thing I'm going to have to do that's going to take up a lot of my time is I'm going to have to do something that I've resisted forever is rent a storage unit. Yeah, I'm going to have to rent a storage unit and put all my inventory in there so I can still be in business. You know, I could go to the storage unit, pull my orders, get them sent out. I haven't done that because storage units here are so expensive. They, they, they are. They're literally a, a, uh, a 10 by 30 storage unit is 350 bucks a month here. Insane, you know, and that a 10 by 30... It, it won't fit all my stuff, <laughs> but I'm going to have to do that on the short term just to get us transitioned when we find a new house. I haven't gotten the storage unit yet because basically I'm going to, when we go out this weekend to look, if we feel good about the places we've seen, you know, the spaces and the prices and stuff, and we feel comfortable, you know, making an offer and we think we'll do okay with it. You know, we're working with an agent. Um, if we feel comfortable with that, then I'll go ahead next week and rent a storage unit and start getting this crap out of here so I can do these projects. But if we go this weekend and we're like, this is crap, you know, then I won't get a storage unit because I don't want to pay that three to $600 a month for a storage unit until we absolutely have to. So that is what's going on with us. Um, yeah. Uh, I just want to give you guys an update. I know I haven't put out that many videos recently, but, um, uh, I'll probably do some, you know, when we move, maybe when I get the storage unit and doing that stuff. So get you guys more involved, but, uh, I am going to, I owe my patrons a what sold video and I'm going to record that right now, right after this, I'm done recording this video. I'm going to record a 50 item what sold video, 50 items. Yep. 
and uh, I'll have that posted for patrons probably tonight sometime, maybe tomorrow. It's going to take a while to edit it because it's such a long video, but uh, we'll see. Because, you know, I've got all kinds of stuff to do. But that's it, everyone. Um, I may, if I have time, I don't have time to, this weekend because we're going to look at houses this weekend. Uh, next week, I may post a haul video. So, but um, since it's such a small one, I may just post it on YouTube. You know, we'll see. It's only a few items. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. But if you're interested in Patreon, hit it up. Dollar a month at the lowest level. You can see the what sold videos. But uh, if you don't, that's fine. Uh, please, I mean, whatever you want to do. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. People are going to do whatever they want to do. So that's it. Uh, Ten minute update video. So we'll see you. We'll catch you on the flip side.